Hello everyone, it's Finance Seti, and today I've got a juicy, juicy video for you guys. So as you may know, Coinbase, which is one of the biggest exchanges in the whole world regarding cryptocurrencies and whole exchanges just involving anything in the world, is going to go public this year and will have an IPO. I'm going to tell you what an IPO is, what Coinbase is, what an exchange is, what kind of valuations are fair for Coinbase so you know what prices to jump in on the IPO and we're going to go into how one might actually get in on this IPO. So stay tuned, it's a big video. Okay, so let's start with what is an IPO? Well, there's two types of companies. There's private companies and there's public companies. Now, private companies are companies Companies where not just anybody can go online and buy a share of it or call up their broker and say, hey, I want to buy like a piece of Apple, for example, give me one stock of Apple. No, a private company is a company where you need to actually like call the owners up and be like, hey, Vincent, whatever, I heard that you have like 10 million shares. I'm interested in buying at this price. Would you mind if I buy out your stake? That's how those deals are done. So those are behind closed doors. They're pretty much, you don't have to like declare them or anything. Now, the second that a company says, hey, you know what? We want to go and be public. That means that their shares get listed on an exchange. And that event of them going public is called an IPO, an initial public offering. So the second that a company has an IPO, it means that almost anybody can go online or call up their broker and say, hey, I want to buy shares of this company. It's a great way for companies to raise a lot of capital and a great way for initial investors to actually cash out on their initial investment, right? If you put 10 grand into Coinbase at the very beginning and you're like, hey, I want to hold this company until it's worth a billion and then I want to sell what I put into it and get back like, I don't know, 100 million. That's how they do it. Let's move on. Okay, so now you might be asking yourselves, what is Coinbase? Well, Coinbase is a cryptocurrency exchange where you can log on and you can take your dollars or your euros or whatever currency you have and convert it into different types of cryptocurrencies. So it's got a bunch listed on there. I'll list a couple. You've got like XRP, you've got Ethereum, you've got Bitcoin. I think even Dogecoin is on there. So that's what it is. It allows you to take the money that you earn in US dollars, euros, or whatever your local currency is and exchange it into cryptocurrencies. To give you an idea of just how much money is flowing through these exchanges, I brought up here a list of some of the top exchanges in the world. Like depending on the list you look at, the names here are going to be different, but this is pretty much correct. So Binance has 35 billion US dollars in money exchanged in the past 24 hour and coinbase has 3.3 billion exchange in the past 24 hours right and then you've got you've got the other ones trailing further down so now we understand what coinbase is next we're going to go into what a fair valuation for coinbase would be and third we're going to talk about the details of the ipo and how you can try to get in before it absolutely skyrockets or deflates depending on what the open Opening prices. So to understand what a fair valuation for Coinbase is going to be, we need to understand two things. What people are pricing the shares at right now. And number two, make our own analysis of what we think the company would be actually worth. So let's start with our analysis of what we think the company might be worth. Please direct your attention to the screen. I've got here NASDAQ, Euronext, the London Stock Exchange, the Deutsche Börse, I said that horribly, and as well Coinbase which is something I just added. I looked at all of the statistics for the biggest publicly listed exchanges in the world and I came up with an estimate of what a fair valuation for Coinbase would be based on the most recent information we have about their revenue and their profit, which most likely has changed a lot since they last released this information. So if you look here, I did, first of all, what each of these companies are valued at. Second of all, what their price to earnings ratio is, right? So how how many times of their profits you have to pay to buy the stock, what their revenue is and what their profit is. And if you combine all of these together, well, we arrive at these ranges. Please pause the video here 
if you want to look at these yourself, but let's go straight to Coinbase. So given all of the information from the others, I arrived at a conclusion that at its current revenue of 2 billion and its profit of 0.46 billion, it would be fairly valued at 12.5 to 35-ish billion US dollars. And that gives it a range of a price to earnings ratio of 25 to 77. Now that being said, it's currently trading for almost double this higher range here. So my prediction is actually that its revenue and its profit has absolutely skyrocketed given the current surge in all the prices of the cryptocurrencies. Altcoins are going absolutely ballistic. Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything is reaching new highs every single day. So I think that these numbers here have changed a lot since the last time they released them. And that's why we're seeing a current valuation of $77 billion. So let me switch to the article here that actually tells us what current owners of these shares are selling them for privately. So as we see here, currently it's valued at 77 billion US dollars on the Nasdaq private market, which gives it a price of approximately $303 per share, which makes it, by the way, bigger than the New York Stock Exchange. So let's scroll down quickly. And what I want to show you here is this part here. So in the first week that this was being done, it was trading at around $200 a share. The second week, it went to $301 a share. And the third week, it went all the way up to $303 per share. These are confirmed sales by private company share owners, right? So like I said, before the company goes public, only private people are able to sell their shares between each other. And the only way we know about this is actually that it was probably leaked a little bit, probably on purpose. Now, I can also show you here, because of course, leave it to the crypto community to find a way to bypass the current stock exchanges. And we see here a list of the expected Coinbase to US dollars futures. Let me just focus here. Okie dokie. So what is it trading for right now? Well, currently we're trading at around the 400 US dollar level. Oh man, it's struggling to focus here. My apologies, guys. But just trust me on this. 450, 350, in the middle is 400. That's pretty much exactly where we're trading now. And it started trading at around 125, or actually, yeah, yeah, around 125 right here. And at the moment that this futures went live, it jumped all the way up to just under 250 right here. And since then, that was when? When was this? I, th I believe this was December 20th. December 22nd, this was. And since then, we are now in February, almost February 22nd, and we're currently all the way up to $400, which would give the company a valuation of approximately 100 billion US dollars, which is absolutely insane. But I believe that around 100 billion is probably, depending on what their revenue and profits are, which by the way, will get released most likely before the IPO filing. So based on that, we'll actually be able to update our predictions of the fair value of this company. So currently, the futures are trading at around 400. Now, if you want to try to get in on this IPO, what you can do is try to figure out how to invest in stocks on crypto exchanges. Now, I'm going to just tell you that this falls outside of my sphere of competence. I don't know how to do this. I haven't looked into this yet, but if you're dying to do it, well, this might be a way to do that, but just be very, very careful. Personally, I would just wait until it actually IPOs on the public market and I can buy shares for it. So guys, how do we adjust our predictions for Coinbase so that we know on IPO day if it's worth jumping in or if we should just stay out of it because it's currently super overvalued? Well, it's actually very simple. You take this price to earnings ratio, so 25 to 77, and you just multiply the profits for the past 12 months. Now, what you have to understand is that you're gonna have to make a bit of a guess here, right? Because Coinbase is growing like really, really, really quickly. So the profits over the past 12 months might not be indicative of the profits that are expected in the next 12 months. So there you have to use a bit of subjective judgment to kind of arrive at what kind of profit number you want to arrive. But let's say you multiply this 
and let, let's say they made $1.5 billion in profit, well, then you would take 1.5, multiply it by 25, and 1.5, and multiply it by 77 to arrive at the new fair range of the valuation for Coinbase. And let me just do that for you right now. So I just did the calculation for you, and that would bring the fair valuation all the way up to 38 to $116 billion. I'm rounding up here just for to be quick, right? So, so as we can see then, at the current price of about 400 US dollars that are listed on the futures, even then, given this very admittedly, 77 is very high, and that's because uh, the London Stock Exchange actually makes more money from selling data. So I believe they're slowly being valued more as a data company than as a pure stock exchange like the other companies. But Coinbase, I would say, probably ranks about, uh, somewhere in the middle in between these two, but more towards the 77 side, seeing as they're not just a traditional stock exchange. And therefore, I think that at $400 per share, if that gives a valuation of about $100 billion, that, that, that that's not a crazy valuation. I would probably still be comfortable jumping in at that price, given the expected growth rate for Coinbase. So guys, when are we expecting the IPO to happen? I apologize for the lighting change. I've got my light over here. But actually, because of the light changing outside, there's some weird shadows happening. Okay, anyway, so when can we expect the Coinbase IPO to actually happen? Well, they have not announced a date yet. I think they're going to try to surprise us. But before then, I hope that we are able to get some more information from them. And if we do get more information from them, I'm going to update you guys on what the new valuations, which would be fair to jump in at, would be so that you guys are prepared on the day. Okay, so... When do we expect it to happen? Most likely the IPO is going to happen by the end of February or sometime in March. I don't think they will delay it further than that. That's the latest news that we've been receiving on the date. So guys, I hope you got smarter today. Take care, make smart decisions, and see ya.